There you are, handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. I'll have to keep an eye out for you. You're coming with me, sunshine! I don't think so, pal! Damn it. I give up. Sit your ass down in here. Are those guys after you or me? Turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I can get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, well, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, no, jail's the place for you for sure. For the learning experience alone. I see you! Get over here! How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Uh. Uh. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. 
Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Running isn't gonna help you! Ah. Okay, enough already. You got me. Aw, oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive. Thing. Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that? Forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha! Well, isn't this pleasant? Seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot. Right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feed. Maybe you can work your charms on her. See if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male company, huh? What'd you think? Uh huh? 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 No way. I'll take the jail time. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Finance. 
Sandman's guy. My favorite. You move! You're coming with me! Enjoy the slipstream, buddy! Okay, okay, I give up. Man, I thought I was crazy. Oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. I'm not supposed to be chasing you, am I? Oh, thought you'd give me the slip, did ya? In! Now! Bro, come on. Seriously? So I forgot to show for court. No biggie. Lesson learned, let's move on. Is that the best pitch you can come up with? Are you kidding me? I pitch the world leaders, man. I'm in banking. Complex derivatives. Ah, well, what are the chances? I'm in banking, too. Large withdrawals. Then you know where I'm coming from. Play hard, go big, no regrets, right? All I'm regretting is not killing you. But the journey's still young. Wow. Buzzkill alert. Hello, Mud. Look at the two of you. 
How have you been keeping, handsome? Ah, uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Ma. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then, I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet. Like Father Christmas has been a bad boy. Well, look who it is! Goddamn bounty hunter! I knew it! I have the right to defend myself! All right, all right, stop! I'll come quietly. Oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. your ass down in here. You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of the nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp. It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action. Until we all turn on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know... I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kinda. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence. And a husband. And a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor. And I won't let anyone stand in my way. 
Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well.